What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, JB, and I am here today with the review for The Oval. This is Season 1, Episode 8, titled Eye on the Sparrow. I don't know if anybody's eye was on anybody's sparrow, but without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so this episode, it picks up where last week's episode left, left off at. You guys remember Barry walked in on Picky and Gail and Beth together. And Piggy was like, hey, man, you know, skedaddle, get out. And, you know, he's like, okay, cool. He dips out. But then Barry comes back. He's like, do you know who this is? He was like, duh, I know who this is. He's like, no, do you know who this is? He was like, yes, I know who she is. And then he looks at Gail and he says, do you want to tell him or should I tell him? And Piggy is like, what the hell is going on? Barry says again, do you want to tell him? Or should I tell him? So Piggy's like, again, what the hell is going on? He says, okay. So this trick right here told, you know, everybody at the White House that I tried to rape her. She says, trick. He says, yes, you a trick. And I'm like, wow, he called her a trick. And then he says, yeah, this old drunk ass hoe tried to tell the Secret Service that I tried to rape her. And Piggy was like, wait a minute. So you sat there and said that my cousin tried to rape you? She was like, he's lying. He's lying. He was like, man, my cousin's a lot of things, but a liar, he is not one. She's like, how do you think he got, how, why do you think he's free if he, if I say he tried to rape me? Good question. But again, my cousin's not a liar. So then he tells you, you know what? Get the hell out. Like, get up, get out. Don't, don't reach out to me. Don't do anything to me. She's like, you're not really doing this, are you? Don't do this. He says, get out. And you know, um, so she, she leaves. And once she leaves, Piggy was like, ha, ha, thank you, man. I'm trying to get rid of her ass for a minute. I'm like, well, you know, what I was going to say, well, why didn't you say, but he has, actually, he has been telling her to leave him alone, but she, she's something else. Whew. Excuse me, y'all. So then, you know, also, um, Barry tells him, like, you know, some strange stuff going on over there at the White House. He says, because Denise is going to the White House. She says, Denise. You talking to her again? He says, yeah. She's supposed to help me out, you know, with finding um the child, the little girl. He's like, man, watch your back when it comes to the niece. Because that one, it ain't, it ain't on the up and up. Like, watch your back. So then we see Priscilla and Sam. So Priscilla and Sam are just, you know, talking about Richard and his job. The craziness in the White House. And, um... You know, Richard, I'm not Richard, but Sam thinks that he can, you know, reason with that. I don't know. I don't know why Sam believes he's, he can reason with the craziness that is Hunter, Victoria, Gail, any of them in that, in that family. I don't know why he thinks he can reason with any of them because they don't know anything about the word reasoning. Like, they are lunatics. God, they are some loons. But, you know, they're going to work on trying to get him his job back. So then Yuma calls, um, you know, Sam and tells him, hey, so the, uh, so the Sparrow is not here. He's like, what? She's like, yeah, she got away. <laughs> I'm like, y'all are so fucked. So then we see Victoria. So Victoria barges in on Hunter. And, you know, she, you know, um, so they start to argue back and forth with one another. And she tells him that little bitch that you call a daughter, well, she's gone. He says, Victoria, you're, you're just in here trying to talk to me. She says, <coughs> you're not that important, Hunter. So, you know, she says, why don't you call your boy Max? Why don't you call your man? He says, my man. She says, yes, Max. And she says, wait a minute. Max is even on the grounds, is he? Where is Max? So she figures it out. So she says he's going to go get that girl, didn't he? She says, if you bring her on this on this property, you will regret it. He says, and if you do anything, you will regret it as well. I'm like, ooh, y'all just, y'all go for the jugular with each other. Like, wow, I, I can't wait Victoria and uh, Hunter. But let's move on, you guys. All right, so then Hunter does call Max, and, you know, Max still has uh, Denise with him. So he's like, you know what, you, got, you still got Denise? He says, yes. He says, Kind of, you know, pulls her aside for a little bit because the dog is on the hunt. Talking about Victoria. And then he asks him, so, uh, my daughter, is she on the property? 
he was like, I'm, I, I, I guess so. He says, I knew Victoria was just lying. He says, well, I don't necessarily know that to be factual. But, I mean, I can definitely check around and, you know, find out, see what I can find out. He says, okay, you do that. So then we see that, um, you know, uh, he calls on his, you know, little thing. He calls, <laughs> he calls Kyle. Kyle's like, this asshole. So, you know, he asks Kyle, so is, you know, the first, is, is the sparrow there? He says, nope, she's gone. He's like, what? She's gone? He says, yep, yeah, she's gone. He says, so what are we doing? He says, oh, we're looking. We already have some leads and we're looking for her now. He says, okay, well, I'm going to um, tell, you know, POTUS that she's missing. He says, nope, I'll tell him. He says, no, I will tell him that she's, you know, gone. So, uh, oh, God. Excuse me, y'all. So he tells him, he said, so Kyle tells him, definitely don't do that because you're not even on ground. So, again, I will tell him what's going on. So, uh, you know, Max doesn't listen to what Kyle says. So Max actually does call Hunter back and tells Hunter, so your daughter is not on the property. That's when Hunter freaks out. So he goes in there where Victoria is. She says, see, I told you, I was telling, told you the little bitch is not here. And then your son right here. He knows some shit, but he won't even say shit. So he was like, so Jason says, she tased her like a freaking animal. She says, well, she was acting like an animal. And he says, well, why do you think she was acting like an animal? Like, we're trapped in here like caged animals. So that's why he, she acted the way she did. So um, she says, you can be next if you keep talking to me that way. I'm like, damn, Victoria, your kids, like, literally have no respect for you. And you're giving, and you're proving why they have no respect for you because you treat them like shit basically so you know hunter wants to know where gail went to he said and um jay says i'm not gonna tell you with her in the room so hunter's like victoria dip out and she's like what he says get out of here so then um they have a little conversation and he, you know he says so how did you do he says oh it was easy you know um he he says she dressed as the maid and she jumped in a jeans trunk he said who is jean one of the maids so then um, he says, so where is she? He says, oh, you already know where she is. He says, with that boy. He says, yep, she's with that boy. So, you know, Hunter's walking past Victoria. She says, you get that little bitch in line or I'll get in line myself. And I'm just like, damn, Victoria, like, come on. I mean, I get that she is a piece of work, but damn, Victoria. So then we do see Max and Denise. So they pull to the side of the road. And Denise is like, well, why don't you just let me go? Like, you know, this is kidnapping, basically, right? And, um, you know, uh, he says, well, I can't really do that. So then Denise is like, oh, do you know how the president likes it? You know, he likes me on all fours with my legs, you know, spread wide apart. And I'm like, Denise, your, hit, your, your game trying to hit on him, it ain't going to work because he's because uh, the woman that beat your ass, she's already tried that. He's happily married, so good luck with that one. Yeah. So, you know, um, she says, you know what? I'll go to the press. He says, any woman who's done that before you, she's lived to regret it. And then she's like, uh. I'm like, uh, that is kidnap. Like, literally, she was trembling the truth. That is fucking kidnapping. Like, they have kidnapped this woman. Like, oh, my God. So then we see Hunter. So he goes into the, you know, to the, uh, in the room with the Secret Service. And he's going off on the Secret Service. I'm like, well, your wife has already beat you to that when she's already ripped into them. So, you know, Kyle tries to tell him everything that's going on. And he's, at this point, he's throwing Max under the bus. And I'm like, damn, Kyle, you would throw your own mama under the bus, huh? Basically. So, you know, he says, you know what? We think we, we have a good idea of where she is and we're going to go pay. He called him Leon who's picky, we're gonna go pay him a visit. I'm like, um, she's not with picky anymore, but okay, not fair. Let's move on. All right, so next we see Donald and Lily. So Donald and Lily are having dinner, and it's kind of awkward to say the least because, you know, Lily, she just looked hella stiff. I'm like, girl, the way she was just cutting that, ch I think it was chicken, she was just cutting that chicken. It was just so fucking stiff. And I'm just like, oh my God. So, you know, Don is talking to her. He asks her, how's the new maid working? Oh, she's like, oh, she's good. And Lily, Lily's going to get on my nerves, to be quite honest with you. Lily is annoying. 
So, you know, Lily is still hung up on the fact that she shot Bobby. And Don is like, let it go. She's like, but what if I can't let it go? He says, well, figure out a way to let it go. She says, I shot someone. I'm like, you shot somebody that you were sleeping, that you had a one, a one night stand with. I mean, although it wasn't night, but it was a one night stand and he was in your a place. Like, come on. So, you know, um, again, it hit me. Oh, shit. So, like, he, he wants her to pretend she like nothing happened. And she's just like, she cannot. I'm like, Lily, shut the fuck up. So she asked what happened to him. He said, she said, he was about to say, she says, I know it's a matter of national security. And then she gets mad and walks away. And I'm like, if you knew the answer, why did you fucking ask? Stupid. So then we see Kyle. So Kyle's in his car and he calls Bobby. He says, so are you still in my place? He says, yes. He says, I thought I told your ass to get the hell out. And, you know, Bobby was like, what did you think this medicine was going to do? He's going, he said, I, I was going to help you get your ass out of my apartment. Or home, wherever it is, there's it. So he says, well, you know what? If you're still there by the time I get home, you will regret that shit. And Bobby says, you know that I still have something over you, right? He says, yes, I do know that because I put it all over you. And, um, you know, he says, you know what? Matter of fact, be there when I get back. You know, let's do it again for um, one last time for old time's sake. And Bobby's like, not going to happen because I'm not, I'm, I will never get that drunk again. He says, I, you, say, you say you were drunk. I say you were just being yourself. I'm like, so I was correct. Bobby and Kyle had sex at some point in their lives. So then we see Sam. So he shows up to the White House. And, you know, Yuma is just debriefing him on what's going on with um, the Sparrow. And then we see um, the Secret Service. So they went to Jean's house. So, they're, you know, they, um, they said, can we come in? She's like, yeah. So I start to question her. They were like, so what time did you come home? Was anybody in your car with you? She says, no, nobody was in the car with me. They said, can we have your keys? She's like, my keys? They were like, yes, your keys. So they give, she gave them her keys, and they're like, okay, we'll see you later. I'm like, so y'all just going to take her fucking car? And she was like that, too. Like, y'all just going to take my damn car? So then she calls Priscilla. She's like, Priscilla, do you know what's going on? Because the Secret Service just came to my house and took my car. She says, you know what it is. She says, I can't really tell you right now, but I can't tell you over the phone. And she says, Priscilla, what is it? She said, you know what it is. She says, what? So then um, she's like, you know who it is. She's like, she's trying to get me fired? Because she says, um, they think that you gave, they think that you might have given her a ride. She says, I didn't give that bitch a ride. Like, what? She says, you didn't, she says, did you knowingly, did you unknowingly give her a ride? And Priscilla's like, what do you mean? She might have hitched a ride with you and you not knew, i.e. the bitch hopped in your trunk, and you didn't know that the bitch was in your trunk. I do. I actually really do feel bad for Jean. Like, that is fucked up. Oh, God, that's fucked up. All right, so let's move over to Sharon and Miss Nancy. So Sharon and Miss Nancy, you know, Sharon has ate dinner. Shout out to the young lady who plays the character um, Sharon because she actually tweeted me after last week's episode when I said um, about the whole fact that we are still on the same day, seven seven episodes in, that we're still on day two after the inauguration. Actually, we're still on the day after the inauguration. She tweeted me with the laughing emojis, so shout out to her for that one. Um... So, you know, she's talking about how she wants to talk to Baron once he gets back. And, you know, Ms. Nancy's like, that metal may probably make you feel better. She says, maybe, maybe not. So then she says, um, she asked Ms. Nancy, did you ever cheat on Mr. Richard? She says, girl, what kind of questions did they ask me? And she was like, are you thinking about cheating on Barry? She says, no, I'm not thinking about cheating on Barry. But Kareem, he's been, like, super sweet. He's, you know, he's been a, 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 um, a, he's been a comfort to me. He's listening to me. He's doing the things that Barry is not doing. Why, whereas Barry has been a complete asshole to her. And Ms. Ruth, Ms. Nancy's like, nope, don't do that, girl. Like, it's not going. It's not what you think is, it will end up being. So she did admit that she did have a she did have an affair, but it wasn't a sexual affair. It was just like an emotional affair. And was, this was during the time that um, uh, Richard was in the military. But, you know, she thought about um, Barry and Richard, and she, you know, she called it off. So then one of the girls from the Rackadooshi um, uh, cult show up, all bloody and bruised. And 
first of all, when the bitch just, I mean, she just come, came through the back door. First of all, why y'all leaving the back door open like that at night? That's my question. Secondly, I would have shot the bitch. Just keeping it real, I would have shot him. So she says they will kill her. And Ms. Nancy was like, I'm going to call the cops. She says, no, don't call the cops. The cops are in on it. And, you know, um, she also tells her that some of the police members are part of the Rackadooshi. So Ms. Nancy asks her, so where is my granddaughter? She says the highest have her. And she says, that, and they move all over. And Ms. Nancy is like, the highest? That She said, that nigga name is Tyrone. She says, and I researched him. He's a con artist, and he'll tell you whatever the hell he, he has to tell you to make you think that he, you know, what a con artist wants you to believe. So we figure out Miss Nancy does not believe her, but, you know, Sharon's like, Miss Nancy, chill. Let her stay. So then we see Richard. So Richard, he went looking for Barry, and he find, you know, he runs into some of Pinky's goons, and they're trying to go at it with, um, with Richard. So then, you know, um, Pinky's like, you know, your dad tells uh, Barry your dad is outside. He says, I'm going to go out there, smooth this over, and let him know you're not here, so that way he can leave. So then, you know, Picky goes outside. He's like, oh, y'all, chill out, y'all. That's my unk. And the dude was like, oh, my bad, bro. My bad. So then, you know, um, Richard asked Picky, is Barry here? He said, nope, he's not here. And um, he tells, you know, um, Richard tells Picky, like, you need to stop what you're doing because your daddy was a good man. He will roll over in his grave, and then he gives Picky back the gun. So then, you know, Picky goes back in there where uh, Barry is with the gun. And Barry's like, so you told him about the gun? And he gets mad. I'm like, really? We're getting mad about the gun? The gun? We're getting mad about that? Okay. So back over with Miss Nancy and uh, Sharon, they're once again asking this girl, like, where is the baby? I forget what her name is. And the girl says, they move around, and they keep the kids together in buses. And, you know, she doesn't know the location. And, you know, this is, oh, I actually got ahead of myself. When Ms. Nancy said that, you know, she was talking about the highest, when she called him a con, and he's in and out of jail. And Sharon asks, Sharon tells Ms. Nancy, Ms. Nancy, go call Richard, Mr. Richard, have him come home. And then, you know, she tells her, uh, so the girl tells Sharon where the hideout is, and Sharon is like, I work in that area and I've never saw anything like this. She says, you wouldn't because the highest tells us not to get dressed until we get into the building. I'm like, well, that's a little bit smart. That way you won't know people are a part of a cult. So, I mean, I, I, I can't hit on that one, but I mean, I get it. So let's move on. All right, and then to wrap the episode up, we see Kyle. So Kyle calls Don and he's telling him everything that's going on with Gail. And I'm just like, Kyle, you have this fatal attraction with Don. So, you know, um, he tells her she snuck out by dressing as a maid. And, you know, she jumped into Gene's truck. So then here he goes once again throwing Max under the bus, saying, you know, Max is inexperienced. He doesn't know anything about this. And, you know, Don is like, okay, cool. I have a conversation with the president. We'll see what we can do. So then we see Gail's old dumbass, and she's walking alone by herself. And I'm just like, why would you, even if you were not the president's daughter, why the hell at this time, I don't know what time of night it is, but it looks like it's like really late, like about maybe 11, you know, in the wee hours of the morning. Why the fuck would you walk by yourself? I thought you were going to call a fucking Uber, but here you are walking by yourself. Stupid as fuck. So then some dudes come up to her, hassling her, and she tells them, leave her alone, and she gives one of them the finger. And they're like, oh, she's a little feisty one. I'm like, why would you do that? That's going to attract them just a little bit, which is stupid as shit to me. So they grab her ass and drag her away. I'm like, well, I would say I feel bad for them, but I don't. And if they rape her, I, I will feel a little. Nope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I won't feel bad for it. Oh, that's, a, that's probably what's going to happen to her. She's probably, I'm not laughing at that. That's probably what's going to happen to her. She's going to get raped and nobody's going to believe her because she lied on Barry. That would be such that would that would be fucked up, but it would be karma because you lied once and then when it actually happens to you, nobody believes you. The boy who cried wolf. So then we see Don. Don is checking on Lily before he goes to the White House, and she was still upset. And I'm like, girl, are you? Why the fuck are you still mad? She tells him, just go, just go. 
I'm like, Don, go. So then, um, you know, as she closes the door, because she followed, she followed him to the stairwell, and then he went on, and she went back in the room, closed the door, who's in the room? Bobby is in the room, and that is where the episode ended, you guys, so be sure to like this video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button, um, share this video, and I will see you guys later.